Welcome back, everybody. Moving on to the next question. We have another limit to deal with. So the limit as x approaches negative 2 of f of x, where f of x is this piecewise function here. So it's equal to 6 when x is equal to negative 2. Otherwise, it's equal to negative 6 for all other x values. So to find this limit, let's first graph this function here. How's this going to look like? Well, at an x value of negative 2, this function has a y value of 6, which is up here. And then for all other x values, the function is going to have a y value of negative 6. And a y value of negative 6, y equals negative 6, is just a horizontal line at negative 6. So there's just going to be a horizontal line. However, at this x value of negative 2, it's not going to be defined there because it's already defined at another y value. But for all other x values, it's just this horizontal line at a y value of negative 6. So what's the limit of this function as x approaches negative 2? Well, as we're approaching negative 2 from the left side, the y value is approaching negative 6. And as we approach it from the right side, it's also approaching negative 6. So because that limit is approaching that same y value from both sides, the limit of this function is going to be negative 6. Even though at an x value of negative 2, the function has a y value of 6, that's just a single point. Remember the limit, it's all about what y value the function is approaching from both the left side and the right side, and it's approaching a y value of negative 6. So just be careful there. It doesn't matter where it's defined, it matters where it is approaching, especially with piecewise functions. And if you were to write this in perhaps a nicer format, you would say the limit as x approaches negative 2 um, from the negative side is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the positive side, which is equal to negative 6. And therefore, because that limit is approaching that same y value from both sides, the limit as x approaches negative 2 in general of the function is equal to negative 6. I should have actually wrote a f of x in both of these here to make it a little more proper. But yeah, you get the point. So approaching the same y value from both sides, the limit exists, and it's equal to that y value.